I have a taste of the fall. It still may be hot outside, but autumn flavors are here. I'm making a granola crunch cinnamon French toast. I have some raisin brioche bread, which is gonna just bring it up to that wonderful buttery soft texture. Crunch it up with some granola that I just ground for a little bit to get it a little finer. Then we're gonna make a warm apple compote and use some pumpkin butter in it and all those fall seasonings. This is just a great dish anytime, but especially as the Jewish holidays start this weekend, I'll be making it for my family because it's traditional to have apples. So we will certainly bring this to you. So stay with me throughout the hours. We bring you a great granola crunch cinnamon brioche French toast. So let's get started with the French toast batter. You know, a lot of people will just scramble up some eggs and some milk. I'm gonna have you put a little sugar and definitely pure vanilla extract. You really wanna spend the money on a better quality vanilla extract because it really makes a difference and it really brings out just a beautiful flavor. So no imitation going on, okay? So then we're gonna add, oh, about a half a cup of milk. I just can, I can eyeball it. I mean, you want it, I'll show you in a minute. There we go. We just, it's still gonna be these farm fresh eggs are gonna keep it nice and golden color, but we're still gonna, gonna get that together. We're gonna sprinkle in some cinnamon and then a little sugar because even though the apples that we're sauteing are gonna have some maple syrup in it, we still wanna sweeten this up just a little bit. Now, of course you can use challah bread, which is our traditional bread that we have on Friday nights. And if you're making this recipe over the weekend, you'll be able to find the challah bread almost everywhere. But I found the brioche at Fresh Market, and I love that brioche is really becoming mainstream, that buttery French bread. Okay, so this part looks done. Let's go back over to the apples that are sauteing. I used honey crisp because I don't want them to cook down too much. I want them to hold the components of it. Um, if you use a Macintosh apple, which is wonderful for something like uh, compote or applesauce, that's great. But for this, we want to hold them a little firmer. I'm going to take my autumn spice blend from St. Armand's Spice and Tea Store that I love. This has a little bit of everything. I love the allspice, nutmeg, a little bit of that. Mm, it smells amazing in this kitchen, I'll tell you. And now we're gonna take some pure maple syrup, okay? Nothing artificial here. Let's, again, you really wanna go for the good stuff. That's gonna simmer down. The syrup is gonna kinda caramelize. And what we're going to do is I'm going to let my bread soak in the egg mixture just a little bit before I cook it. Oh, about two minutes. So when we come back, we'll have the first batch going, and then I'll show you how to dip it in the granola that I put in the food processor. And ooh, it's going to be a really good brunch dish. This is so good. So let me show you how I'm gonna dip everything and then I'll make some, some room over here. And if you don't, you know, if you don't wanna make it the crunchy part, you don't have to dip it in the granola. But this makes it really funny. You know, restaurants are using Captain Crunch. And I didn't even like Captain Crunch when I was a child. And you know, you, you, let's go for some good, wholesome ingredients and really nice granola that has orange or pumpkin flavors in it. So as you can see in the pan, it's really starting to crisp up. Here are some that are already done. So we're gonna go ahead and put those over. Our apples have just come to that perfect glaze along with the maple syrup. And I have a jar of pumpkin butter ready. So you can either use apple butter or pumpkin butter. And we're gonna just rub that, you know, basically make it like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Just put in that pumpkin butter or apple butter. Now, as you're doing this, you have to remember that you have to keep adding butter to the pan. So you do a batch, then you add a little more butter, and you do a batch, and you add a little more butter. And, you know, we're going for it today. We're not looking to lighten our calories. Better you have one piece just the way it is, and it's gonna be perfect. So let's come over here, and you can see I already have our granola crunchy French toast ready, right? So usually two slices per person is gonna be more than enough, okay? So we're gonna just put some apples on there. Here's the pumpkin butter, and we're just gonna spread some of that and get some on that bottom layer there. Ooh, gosh, there is nothing, to me, there's nothing better than the fall flavors. So a little more on the warm apple. And I mean, this could definitely just be dessert 
if you wanted to for your your Jewish holidays or like I said brunch is going to be great but this is one of those dishes you're going to make all autumn long a little more syrup and if you want some extra crunch you can do just a couple pieces of granola on top there and I think that's all you need to have the perfect dish. So I'm going to stay here and make some more French toast for my buddies at the Anchor Desk, and then we'll be back to taste. Seriously, this is one of those days when you need smell vision. Not not only does this look great, but it smells so good. Okay, so Judy, you got you got a plate fixed for me here. Do I need to drizzle a little? Yeah, uh, put a little extra yeah, on it. Zoom with maple the apples, syrup. but you got to go a little more. So we have that pumpkin butter. You can use apple butter. Took that brioche raisin bread. You mm -hmm. can use challah bread. Dipped it in our French toast batter, then rolled it into ground granola, wow. and that's really fun. I mixed a cranberry granola with a pumpkin granola, and it's. Seasonal and yummy. Oh, <laughs> that's and fabulous. Scott, we have some for you. Don't mm. worry. <laughs> on our website, mysuncoast.com, click on the dining page. No. Oh.